Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on a on a shapes sorting device. I recently finished my 50 to 55 to 60 long hour grind creating a mam and and it is a big boy. It is a big fat chunky boy. It, it took forever. Not designing it, placing it. So, I was pondering. All of my... All of the shapes that I create, I never see them again. So I wanted to find a way to automatically store them so I could just leave it in the background and level up and for the longest time I kept running into the same brick wall I can't store it and then have that storing change without changing the wires so I watched a video really quickly it was 40 minutes long I watched 10 seconds of it and saw that an output of one can activate the filter. I tried this first and it didn't work. I don't know why. I must have done something wrong. I must have had an input of one and tried to output a zero and an input of zero and to output one. I don't know what I did, but I tried this first and it did not work. So now that I see that it does work, my problem instantly fixed itself with the handy old XOR gate. Yeah, I got that right. <laughs> so, how this works, it takes the hub storage, puts it in here, it's a zero, sends it through a filter, it stores it, that then turns it into a zero, which puts it through a different filter, which detects whether or not it's the one that's stored. If it's not, it comes out. If it is, it goes through and this is how I built it. So first off you're going to want to get your filters and you need two. No matter what you always need two. One to, one to get it through, the other to filter it obviously. <laughs> so start out with you have to have an input go in here. That's not, that's not a debate, it's not a question. An input has to go into the story so you can store the shape. And that's the one rule that matters, but it's also the one rule that I couldn't figure out how to work around until I figured out that one inputs activate them. So you take your trusty little XOR gate, you slap it down, you give it an input of one, and then you use that input to make this filter passable, meaning that anything can go through it. Now, um, the next part is this, is how this works. So you take this output and it's a zero, but this is still active. So a shape will go through here like this and activate this and activate the storage that will make this detectable and mean that the output is something. So something plus something for an XR gate equals nothing. And that is where the other part of the filter comes in. Because it's nothing, the output will go up, up into here. And because it's not wired, nothing will happen, which is where this sec which is where it comes in again, this useful part. Just like that. Yeah, that makes no sense. The output here is still zero, so nothing changes. The only thing that changes is this going f is detecting a shape. So once this detects that, it's stored. It's like a it's like a variable. You put it in, it's stored. Nothing else can change it. 
try and input something else and it'll just come out the side and that's the part that's the most useful because it means that it's detected nothing can change it and you can repeat this whole cycle over again this goes up here this goes through here this travels like this and then that's the same and that is how I created my automated storing device for my MAM 13 hours that took here I'll just design a compact version real quick for the for the screenshotters I want this to be known because I've always wanted to do something like this And there you have it. My automated storage. This took way too fucking long. <laughs>